good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Independence Day um, holiday celebration. Uh, I'm your host, Dane, and today we're just going to be talking about some things that are really important when it comes into play of talking about these certain times, and especially America's independence. Like, this is our country, and it's important to know how the past has really shaped the country we are today. So I just want to share that with you all. Uh, I hope you have a great evening here today. And uh, please rise for the national anthem. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please bow your head as we give a moment of silence to remember those lost in the past wars. Thank you. Uh, you can rise your head. And we will proceed to the next part. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be giving the podium off to my good friend over here. So, enjoy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are talking about Independence Day and how Congress made Independence Day an official and paid holiday for federal employees in 1870. John Hancock actually signed the Declaration of Independence Day on July 4th. 1776. And, hap and happy Independence Day. Woohoo! Okay, so we're going to have our next uh, fellow come up here on stage. Can I have uh, Mr. Dante Flynn rise from the stands? Thank you. Please step on stage. Hello. Today I will be talking about Independence Day. The U.S. had a war with the British, and the U.S. won. I just want to say thank you for your service to all the U.S. soldiers. Woohoo! Yeah! Okay, so next up on stage, we have Caleb Miro. Please step on up. Greetings, everybody. Today, I'll be talking about Independence Day, the 4th of July. It all started on war between USA and the British. The US won and claimed independence from the British. Message to the US Army, keep fighting hard and we love you guys. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> several branches of the military and it's really important how they all connect back to one another to really protect us as a country and to show that 
We as a country over the last 243 years when the declaration was signed have grown in so many several ways. It's just really incredible. And I just want all of you to know that. So um, I'm just going to name a few uh, branches of the military to uh, just give you an idea of who is really protecting you hours of day when you really don't think much about it. Coast Guard, protecting the coasts at all times. Navy, protecting the middle areas of the sea. Marine, protecting the skies, the sea, and the land. Army, protecting the land. And uh, Air Force, protecting the sky. Okay, so this is that time of night uh, where we are going to be ending the ceremony today. Uh, if you have any last final words, please step up on the stage and uh, come to the microphone. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and start with uh, John over here on the left. Okay. All right. Uh, have a good in e e evening. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead with Dante. I hope you've been having a good night so far. I just want to say have an awesome time watching some fireworks. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out tonight. As soon as you hear the bell ring, uh, then you can go to the fireworks ceremony. Thank you so much, and have a good night. Have a great rest of your 4th of July if you're an American, and uh, cool fool, I have no clue what he's doing as usual. But, you know, we're just going to go ahead and go with that. Um, I'm just walking down Main Street right now. But, uh, enjoy your evening, and uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, make sure to go check out uh, Dante, and uh, yeah. Um, see you guys.